Here's a problem that shows up on the finals quite a bit. It's a inverse of a sign asking for an angle, basically. So let's see how we go about solving this one. The analysis of this inverse sign goes something like this. What I have here playing around is a sine curve. Sine curve is a very straightforward uh, function because for every domain, uh, let's say this is theta 1 and theta 2, for every point on the theta, I have a 1 to 1 correspondence onto the range and then mapped between minus 1 and plus 1. However, Here's the problem. Once we rotate the sine curve 90 degrees, this curve becomes our sine arc sine. Okay, so the inverse sine. This is no longer a function because if I were to pick one point, let's call this A, and I draw a straight line up and down, as you can see, I'll have multiple points onto the range. This violates the definition of a function, of course. So someone up there, some committee or some uh, smart mathematician say, hey, this is an easy problem to solve. If we limit our degree into plus 90, plus 90 and minus 90, we back on to have another function. So basically, in essence, arc sine is only defined as a function in the wiggly ones that I'm hashtagging over here. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at uh, what this... Uh, picture here we have. So what you have here is a graph from a, a textbook I actually found. Uh, here's the first one on top you see is the function of the sine, as we said before. And this red box is saying like, look, we have to stay in this range before arc sine, otherwise arc sine wouldn't make sense. If you tip this one around like we did earlier, and here's the arc sine function of x, f of x equal to uh, inverse of sine. Okay, so basically this problem is asking, do you know that theta has to be limited between 90 and minus 90 degrees? Because uh, sine of inverse minus radical 3 over 2 is going to be an angle, any angle. The answer is going to be an angle. So this is equivalent to say sine over what angle is equal to minus 3 over 2 radical and Here's the most important part of this particular problem. Do you know that it has to be between minus pi over 2 and pi over 2? And if you do know those two information, the rest are pretty easy to solve. So let's get to it. All right, so here's how we go about solving this. I always find it's easier when we're dealing with inverse sine. Put a theta here. So I'm asking sine of theta is equal to radical 3 over 2 with a minus sine, and the angle has to be restricted between 90 and minus 90, as we did analysis back over here. Now using a unit circle, you can see minus radical 3 over 2 is going to end up with two terminal sides is here, one in quad 3, one in quad 4. Now minus 90 and positive 90, since this is 90 degrees from all the way here, and minus 90 is over here, were restricted into quad 1 and quad 4. Okay, now how do you go find about theta 2 over here? Well, this little red triangle here, I draw it out over here. The unit circle has radius of 1, and the half is where the 30 degrees are looking opposite of. Since this little tri triangle in the red is 30, theta 2, then it's 60. And since it's in the quad 4, minus clockwise, we'll have theta equal to minus 60 degrees, and that's the answer. Well, I hope this one helps. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Please comment or share this video. Together we can make math easy again. Have a confident day.